Welcome back to Jenna's Kitchen. Summer is here and it gets pretty hot in Kentucky and strawberries are in season. So I'm gonna show y'all one of my favorite summer drinks, a strawberry mint cooler. Let's get started. Here we have some washed strawberries and I'm just gonna hold them because we're gonna puree them and you don't want this little green piece in your puree. The strawberry chose violence and decided to squirt me in the face with its strawberry juice. We have already washed these strawberries and you don't want to wash them too far in advance because then they're going to kind of get soggy and they won't taste as good. Taste as good and they won't last as long. Double negative. Don't want to do that. The mint cooler is nice and refreshing on a hot summer day. Hits the spot. Makes you feel just calm. It's delicious. <laughs> To do is we're going to take our berries, put them in our blender, put the top on, and puree them. Alrighty, it's looking good. Scrape down the sides, and now we're going to take the blade out. Now we're going to measure out one cup of puree. Here we have it, one cup of puree. Now it's time to make the syrup, and the syrup is the only way to really infuse the flavors of the strawberries into our mint cooler. So we're going to make a simple syrup with one cup of water, one cup of our strawberry puree. Look at the cute little wooden spoon. Isn't it cute? I love little things. And one cup of sugar. You can double this, you can half it, just make sure you're using equal parts of everything. We're going to turn this on medium heat and dissolve the sugar. Once you have dissolved the sugar, you need to bring it to a boil and boil it for five minutes. All right, it's boiling. Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Okay. This is one of the bad things about strawberries is it has so much foam. That way when I'm making syrup or jam or anything, it like boils up a lot and you gotta keep blowing on it to like cool it down so it'll stop foaming. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I have a tendency to get too small of a pot or too small of a bowl, which is why I have to keep blowing it down because it's about to overflow. Don't be like me. Get a bigger pot. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be lightheaded. But it's going to be great. Now it's time to turn it off and let it cool. Our syrup has cooled. We've got a funnel and a little pitcher. We're going to take it and pour it in slowly. And here we have our syrup. We've got a mason jar. We've got four strawberries. We're going to put them in our mason jar. And we're going to add one sprig of mint. Take a wooden spoon and mash it up. This is called muddling. And it's going to mash up the berries and put the mint flavor into the berries. Since that mint was little, I'm going to add another one. I can smell the mint. You want to make sure you get your strawberry pieces small enough to get your straw. Alright, this is looking good. We're going to add some ice. Half a cup of water. Half a cup of your favorite lemon lime soda. And then two tablespoons of our simple syrup. And you can add the simple syrup to teas, lemonade, drinks, whatever you like. Take a little spoon, give it a little mix. Mint leaf in for decoration. Get a straw and you're good to go. Here is the strawberry mint cooler that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This is the perfect drink for the summer. When it's a hot day outside, you just wanna hang out with your friends and enjoy an ice cold strawberry drink. If you like this video, please like it and comment your favorite strawberry drink down below. Subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen and have a great day.